Hi, my name's Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Uh, today I also wanted to take a look at the Lion 1 Quartz and this was a previous image we caught or one part of that uh, and we called it the Cauliflower uh, way back at the beginning of last year and uh, with this uh, macro lens on the 7D Canon camera uh, it really caught the sort of uh, fractal and uh, repeating structure uh, within it. Anyway, I wanted to have a look at it with the uh, microscope and here is a shot with the microscope and you can see um, it captures very much different detail. This is with the polarizer um, on so you can't really see a lot of the bulbous structure that you are seeing here. However, it does give you other information uh, because we can actually do a scaling of it, which we have done. And uh, here it is. And so the one on the right here is 2 millimeters and 2.2 millimeters. And we do see these pairs where uh, quite often one is larger uh, than the other. Um, so that is interesting. Uh, anyway, what I did want to do is to look at another section of it and just have a look, a, a dig around in it, as it were. And uh, so this again is the end of the heater tube and uh, like in line two. And um, this is where the reactor would have been. And so I'm looking at the quartz that's uh, on the outside of the uh, reactor. And it came up with some rather interesting imagery. Um, so I'm going to have a look at this now. So, and if you can see this, uh, but all over the outside of this are these apparent sort of toroid marks. Um, let's have a look at this one and go in here close up. So here we go. And when you look into them closer, uh, they do seem to you know, often come in pairs. Uh, unless this is one that's been here and then it's moved to here for some reason. Um, and this is a kind of a octagonal, not like octagonal, a hexagonal structure in the middle. This is almost a square. Um, there's another one here. Uh, I think that's the same one from a slightly different angle maybe. No, it's a different one. Uh, and this is a pair. Here we've got um, one that I've scaled. And that's uh, 0.4 of a millimeter across. And if I actually take out the uh, dimensions there, uh, you can see in the center, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and even on the outside, you've got a, a little bit of um, geometry kind of going on there. Uh, anyway, we've, we've taken a lot of images of these. Uh, And I just want to go into like a mode where I can move around the target and you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's close some of these images down. I mean, look at that. I mean, <laughs> you do wonder whether this is kind of move around the surface, but these two do look like a pair. These two do look like a pair. These three, I don't know, is that a pair? I don't know. It's, uh, and have a look at these in your own time. So let's go to the live view. Is it going to give me a live view? Let's see. Here we go. This is the live view. So in theory, if the camera doesn't drop out, here we go. I can move around this. And you can see that these things are kind of all over. Um... There's some more. Get that more in focus. So these are moving away at a slightly different angle. Come down here. These are less clear because it's starting to, you know, get mushy with so many overlaying that you don't get the definition. Uh, 
down here. Let's put that in focus. You see, you can imagine <laughs> here's three here, uh, whether it's the same one that moved to here and then moved to here and did some work. But you've got other ones here, but when they're just everywhere on top of each other, they start to just come become very mushy. The definition is lost. So this is on the sort of angle as we come down here on the quartz and so you go on here and here um, and you can see the kind of outline there. It's kind of a gr group of three, maybe four over here. Anyway. Now, just above here, I don't know if you can see it, but there seems to be a bit of a spiral going on here. So it's a spiral going on here. I don't know what that is. Uh, but there we have it. This is the outside of the Lion 1 heater. And it does appear to have the impressions now, some might refer to these as microplasmoids that have come in and done this, but it's the fact that we t tend to get these groupings, these two coming together. And this was observed by um, shoulders as well. Uh, you do get individual ones, but sometimes they kind of team up and uh, they make these double holes. Um, now, these aren't holes going all the way through, but they uh, are impressions. And uh, I will zoom in to that and I'll be with you in a minute. So here you go, here's a close-up on one. Well, I'm just going to change the focal point. And if I come over here, you'll see another pairing. And it's like, over here, the apart from the other speckles, or which might be very much smaller structures, um, there's hard lines, uh, and uh, you know, is is this maybe, you know, the way quartz crystallizes when it's uh, you know heated and cooled, uh, or its electrons are affected? Um, but the way these all have these center spots, uh, which are completely unaffected, and this outside area here is unaffected, and it's just these kind of pairs or, or individual ones um, where, where you get these uh, effects. It's very highly demarcate, demarcated. So get that in shot there. So, um, you know, is this one that's above and uh, this one is below and this is part of the same system uh, like uh, we have uh, on, where is it, uh, here, you know, here is this the same kind of thing where you have two, but th these are obviously much bigger. Um, but it would appear that these can go to any size. And uh, the fact that these appear on both line one and line two means this is a replicatable uh, effect. Um, and, you know, we have a, another lion over here, and uh, it would be interesting to see when that's cracked open if we see these same kind of structures on there. Um, is this something that's uh, really a telltale of what is going on in the Lion reactors? And some more structures. And some more structures. 
So that was a quick look at the Lion One Quartz. Thank you very much for your time.